Yes, guys, this is AJ here from JTS, Just Teaching Stuff, mate. I hope you guys are well. Guys, I'm going to show you a very quick tutorial, a little mini tutorial on exactly how to get yourself set up, get yourself uh, logged in onto Leonardo and create something really quickly, guys. As many of you know on my channel, you know I'm a big, 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 big mid journey fan. But guys, Leonardo AI is the one. It's crazy. But guys, without going ahead with this amazing video, if you love digital products, you love creating, researching, listing, all that mad, 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 mad stuff, then please hit the like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. And don't forget to share because you know what? Everyone needs to learn about this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, let's get into this madness. So look, step one is really easy. Once you've uh, checked out my free access, the link is just there for Leonardo as well. Just click it and you can get free access to Leonardo AI as well. But all you got to do is once you get onto the website, you click create an account. So we create an account really quickly. Boom. And guys, it's the easiest thing ever. And like I said, you know, I've used Midjourney and it's amazing. But the setup that bit is a bit tricky. This is so easy. Guys, it's the easiest thing ever. All you got to do is either sign up with your email and put your password in or go to Apple, Google or Microsoft where it will connect pretty much automatically if you've got it up and running, right? It's the easiest thing ever to sign to sign up, right? So do that quickly with whatever whatever way you prefer. Um if you're gonna do it with a sort of watch along <laughs> if you like. But that's the first step, right? Then we'll get into it. Okay guys, so we're here on our dashboard once you've uh, signed up and hopefully it looks exactly the same right now as it does when you watch the video because remember this is at the time of doing this video you know what ai is like it just moves too quick so they might have changed the dashboard slightly when you watch it but hopefully it's the same so anyways look, let me just run through a few bits so what you're going to get is you're going to have this kind of um tokens here so if you signed up and it's for free you've signed up free then you're going to get 150 tokens every day it renews every 24 hours which is cool man that means you can actually use this for free too obviously if you're going to do like loads and loads and loads of stuff and you need to get loads and loads of images then you probably need to upgrade but you know obviously use it for free as much as you can so the 150 tokens are here if you do want to upgrade you just click upgrade for example and it just tells you exactly what it gives you for each upgrade which is fabulous i mean i'll be honest the the quality that you get from the the paid versions are better um, and, and there are other features as well, a lot more features with the paid version. But you know what? Personally, my advice is to try out the free version and, and understand it and, and, and see how it works. And only when you really need it, then you can go for those, uh, those paid versions there. Um, but we'll leave the paid versions for now. Let's stick to, let's stick to the free version, right? For now. So what you've got is you've got a few different things here. So at the top, you've got how you can get started with image generation, um, with prompts. You've got sort of this uh, real-time canvas. You've got canvas editor. You've got motion, um, like almost like turning your ideas into sort of video-esque. And then you've got real-time generation, which again, sort of like almost video-like. Um, but I I'm going to go through image generation. Um, because that's probably the most the most that people want, the most important thing that probably people would like it for and use it for. So we'll stick to that for now. Obviously, I will be doing tutorials on all the other elements with Leonardo AI, so stay tuned for those ones too. But literally, you get these... Uh, so if I click on image generation, for example, um, this is where it obviously it opens up your image uh, panel generation panel with all your sort of tools and everything which i'm going to talk about but i'm going to go back first of all to the to main dashboard first just to show you what everything is now what you have got is you've got these beautiful obviously these beautiful designs that have been um, produced by the community that are produced um you know through obviously leonardo really really beautiful ones you know if you click on them you can get to see it and and what's amazing is you get to see the prompts that these people have used to do it right it tells you everything um from all the kind of presets or pipelines they call it with the sizing everything i mean look how detailed that prompt is when we when i show you i mean obviously for those of you that don't know the prompt is the series of words that creates the image okay 
And there's a lot of words here that's creating that image, man. Gee, that's crazy. But what's really nice is you get to see images that people produced and you get an idea of maybe the kind of thing that you want to do. So that if you've got something that you like or something in mind, I mean, you might go to sort of this kind of um, wolf sort of style. And you might think, wow, this is like a cool logo I could produce. It gives you the idea of the kind of things that prompts the words used for this, which is really cool because, you know, you can learn from what, what, what works, right? Um, so, yeah, this is all like community, the people that have produced this, which is fabuloso. Look, there's loads and loads and loads of those of those of them, right? Shows you what the community has been producing. So it's, it's a bit like a showcase, really. And then you can even break down to the things that, you know, if you're looking specifically at anime, for example, you want to look at anime sort of recent creations, you can actually go down and look at recent creations with anime um, so that maybe you can, if you need to replicate or you need to do something, you've got animals as well. You know, different times, just imagine you want to do some kind of, I don't know, coloring books or logos. Like, I would look at this one and this could give me some really cool ideas for the kind of prompts that I could do. Look at this, right? Really nice. So it can help you as well produce things that you are looking for. And you can look at all these categories and, and break it down in terms of categories or even go to the search gallery, um, which is quite cool. So, yeah. That would be the, and then there's loads of things here. There's a, there's a lot of also help, which I like about Leonardo AI. There's actually like a chat, which you can do to ask questions, which is here in the corner. If you get stuck with anything, there's also really good frequently asked questions that have quite a lot of actually comprehensive stuff that, you know, you could find out, you know, when you, when you look through these as well, you know, it's got a big table, it's got a lot of content um, here that can answer a lot of your questions. I really find that Leonardo AI has got some good help features, you know, FAQs and help. You've got FAQs at the bottom and help here, which is quite cool. More articles that you can go through, more about feature releases and help guides as well, which are, which are also down here. So, you know, definitely use these help guides to go along because, you know, you might, you might have sort of specific questions um, that you wanted to find out, right? Which is which is understandable, especially when you're trying these out. So, yeah. So what it is is you've got all of these things here, which are these parts that you can get into: image generation, or canvas, or canvas editor, real time generation, or motion. Like I said, I'll be doing tutorials on all of these. This is more image generation, I would say. Um, and here you have these user tools also on the side here. Okay. Um, you also got fine tune models where it also gives you sort of an idea of what kind of models you want to use. So, for example, if I click on this one as a kind of uh, one of the tools, it gives you an idea of, of you can actually sort of add this to the design that you're doing. So you can actually create a design with that sort of model style, if you like. Um, so here's a model with a strong focus on cinematic outputs, for example. So this gives you more that cinematic look for your images if you want to produce it. So you can generate with this type of model, they call it. Um, so they have different models that you can look at and use if you want to add this to your images or have that as part of your image creation. So animal, an, sorry, anime, pastel, dream, you know, could be something that you could add to your image as well. See, these are the anime pastel style. So there's loads of models which you can features which you can add to your designs, which is really, really cool, which can fine tune it, right? Um, and looking down, these are to do with real time canvas. Like I said, I don't want to overwhelm you. I'm going to keep it like that. If you are interested in those other elements, stay tuned and look at those in my playlist. Hopefully it will be on there. And then you've got your side panel here um, where you've also got personal feed. If I click personal feed. This will be the things that you have designed. So if you've, once you've start your designs, your image generation, then you'll have your personal feed that will show up here. Um, just click on training and data sets. Uh, there's nothing in that one. So yeah, pretty much you get started. And how we start, we'll start on the image generation, like I just very quickly said. So uh, 
first things first, you can either click on image generation here or image generation on the side on the left panel here. Either way is fine, so I'll click image generation. Now, it's a really easy to navigate actually once you get into this. Um, it really isn't that, that difficult, right? It's not that hard, not that difficult. Um, but you do need to, it does need a, a bit of practice like anything. Now, like I said, you've got 150 tokens, free ones that it gives you and it regenerates every time. This is where you type your prompt. Those of you that know in terms of mid-journey, you write your series of word, whatever you want to produce, and it's going to tell you how much it's going to cost. Then you can add various things and elements. Now, some of these will be like if you have a, an account in terms of if you have a subscription, it gives you some more. Um, but generally, um, you know, you'll have things like that you can do without a subscription, right? So you've got fine tuning the models. So if I got this, this at the moment on Leonardo Diffusion, I can go to a different kind of Leonardo style, Eno, for example, which sort of adds a different sort of effect, if you like, your designs. So obviously these are sort of effects that you can add. Uh, then you also got these um, other other features which you can make your design cinematic, say, creative, dynamic, illus illustrative more photo photography sketch style sketch color vibrant and so on and that's cool as well um so there's a lot of elements that you can do here's another one that you can add also so leonardo has loads and loads of sort of elements see look you can even look at sort of coloring book element illustration element these are quite good as well um vintage christmas element so if you're looking to do some clip arts or something in a vintage style you know this could be it so Actually, this is something probably I would look to do. If I wanted to do coloring book, I'd go for more this one. Um, this one's more cartoon anime-esque. So if I click this one and I click confirm, so I've, I've, I've clicked a sort of style that I want, that vintage Christmas, right? I want to create sort of some, some design, some clip arts, if you like, if I wanted to sell on Etsy or something like that. Um, and then I would write the prompt. Now, on the side here, it tells you how many images it's going to produce. Now, obviously, depending on how many images you want, it's going to charge you an amount of tokens for that. So let's say I want four. You know, Mid Journey produces four for me. I like to see four so I can choose which ones I like. And then you have other elements here where you can click. You want it sort of like a, a photo reel. And it can tell you as well what it is. So Leonardo's photo reels are latest innovation, a powerful pipeline designed to generate hyper-realistic photos. So if you want hyper-realistic photo style, you'd obviously check this. Um, you know, what's nice is it tells you what these are, right? It's really cool. Um, Leonardo Alchemy is a powerful new image generation. Click the question mark for image. And then you've got, these, uh, you've got the output resolution. Okay, the output resolution um, tells you, like, you know, the size um that is going to be that will produce like i input the di dimensions this is the input um so these are the input uh sort of sizes right and this is you know you can choose what size you want from these as well obviously you have an input size and then you have an input resolution right input dimension and then an output resolution um which is quite cool as well now, obviously again you know, you'd have to, you can, you can do your sizing anyway. Your, you can get into advanced controls here at the bottom, right? You can see where you can actually input the size you want. Yep. So you can actually go to advanced features and actually, you know, adjust the size here. Okay. Advanced control for sizing. Um, you've got guidance also for scale, how strongly your prompt is weighted. And then also there's tiling, you know, for those of you that know. Um, you can have some tiling. And tiling is to do with if you want something to be seamless as well. So there's quite a few bits here. And there's also some more features where you can add your image. And uh, again, that will help you guide, uh, it will help guide the image generation. So some, some more bits actually, quite a lot of, like there's, there's quite a bit of, there's quite a lot of advanced settings if you want. But I think for now, for the, for the simple part, the simple basic step by step um just keep it keep it very simple now okay so let, let's get into this now so what i'm going to say is i want to say um watercolor 
watercolor uh christmas i'm gonna obviously <laughs> i want to just do some design right christmas santa with present uh christmas smiling santa smiling happy santa with presents and christmas tree on a white background and that's it now look it's telling me right now it's gonna it's gonna generate it's gonna cost me 39 tokens right now the reason why it's, it's, it's quite a lot obviously is because obviously i want four images and and i've got this kind of element also added to it so you gotta remember that anything that you and also you know depends on whether the size so if I, let me click down to to 512 see look i've gone down to the size input dimensions i've just reduced the size right now to 512 if you look at it it says 20 tokens when i've gone to 768 let's click on 768 it stay the same actually but when i'm wanting to do my own custom size let's say 1000 by 1000 it then um give him gave me a higher token price if you like so you have to just be aware of what see look it's gone up okay that's gone up see look it's gone up to 39 so be aware of like how many tokens you're using just keep an eye on that um but yeah it does it does take your tokens now the other thing you can do is you can add negative prompts which means that things that you don't want to be in in the image and then you can add sort of words for that just just the, i thought i'd tell you but let's just go to i'm going to go to image dimensions which is smaller because i don't want it to take 39 tokens mate uh i'm going to keep it at 768 by 512 and the output resolution will be there so i want to click generate let's generate and it's going to give me four different ideas so i'm going to click generate right um and it's going to give me four different ideas for the designs that i've asked for so you know like a christmas smiling happy santa with presents and christmas tree sort of idea in that vintage style so let's see what it, it comes up with so i'll give it a little bit of time so far it's been 30 seconds be interesting to see how long it takes with regards to um also comparison to mid journey i mean you know some it just depends in terms of how quickly it generates images it really does depend um you know it can be quick it can take a little bit of time you know it depends time of day you know what it's like even mid journey sometimes it actually just spits them out really quickly and sometimes it takes a little bit of time okay this is interesting so you've got these really cool cute um style images look at this yeah i mean pretty much what i asked for um Santa and a christmas tree with uh with um with some uh presents right exactly what i asked for now again just like other ai tools it's going to give you uh three different four different examples um uh, this one actually you see this one it actually included some writing in the top corner uh does that say merry it doesn't look like it says even merry that looks like christmas no not even not the wording doesn't come quite right right um but yeah you've got four different design styles um so if i if i look at the this one i like this one probably the best let's say and then i want to show you a few more tools like at the bottom so here you've got if you hover on it at the bottom you've got download here you've got if you want to copy to your clipboard here if you want to remove the background remember this it says it will cost you some tokens right says this will cost two tokens uh, remaining today so if i wanted to remove that white background i can do it on leonardo but it's gonna remove tokens right um and then you've got some kind of smooth scaler which you can use um which is quite cool but again all of this does does use tokens right so all of these there are features that you can use like removing background like uh, upscaling but they do use tokens and this is why if uh, this is why i say that if you're going to be doing something um if you're going to use it on a regular basis and you really need it for like you know selling digital products per se 
um, then this is for you. Now remember, you can use this for many things, whether it be Tumblr app designs, whether it be clip arts, whether it be mug wrap, it, it literally can be used for anything. But obviously, it, depending on what you want to do, you'd put your sort of prompt in the right place and, and really add to it. And, and, you know, as you do in uh, like things like Mid Journey. Um, but be aware that this thing does, does use tokens. And so probably best to, you know, when you upgrade, let's look at the upgrade features just very quickly. So $10 a month if you go to a standard apprentice style they call it then 24 dollars a month unlimited and the maestro is 48 dollars. so it's not too bad you know it's not too bad and there's some really really cool features with these um so i would definitely like i said have a look at these but don't forget these are when you pay yearly when it's a monthly slightly more actually so do check out um this but look in terms of image generation it's really as quickly it's, it's as quick as that so if i go to my personal feed now very quickly it should have images that I produce. Actually, why is it? Ah, I, I clicked it twice, man. That's why it's giving me eight. No, no. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's giving me eight. Yeah, I've clicked it twice. I clicked it twice by accident. Yeah, but anyways, it gives you the history of what you've just produced. Let me just go how many tokens I've used. Yeah, I've used 40 tokens in total. So for each batch of four, it used 20 tokens. Okay, that makes sense. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's literally how you can produce images, image generation really, really quickly and get set up on uh, um, Leonardo AI. I think it's fantastic. I'm going to be using it a lot more alongside Midjourney, definitely. Um, but like I said, check out the free access is just there on the at top of the description and look out for my other tutorials for Le Leonardo AI. Let me know in the comments what else you want me to talk about or show you. And I'll do that also. But I'm going to do some more on all the other user tools, definitely, so I can show everybody how to use it, man. But as usual, do check out my channel for more tutorials. And if you did like this uh, video, please hit a like, subscribe, smash that notification bell, and I shall see you on the next one. Take care.